Hey, this is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Record Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel as I deeply appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to do a short review and assessment of the Lambert, Hendrix, and Ross, the hottest new group in jazz album, this 1960 re release on Columbia Records. And for that, as always, you know i got to recognize the spotlight. And occupying the spotlight is Sister Janet Jackson in her Control album. What an amazing album this is. And what an amazing performer she was. I saw her in a concert in Inglewood, California around 1990-91. She put on an amazing performance. Really fabulous. But this record was issued in 1960 on Columbia Records. This is the Columbia 6i version of the record stereo version and the Columbia stereo 2i version of the record I also have the CD and I'm getting the benefits of the CD later in the video also um, I'm gonna leave links to all the songs in the video in the description below and also some rec I'm gonna leave links to recommended videos that feature some of the members of the group uh, in the description below as well. So you want to stay to the end of the video and see what those videos actually are. Um, this group was together between 1957 and 1964. And it featured Dave Lambert, John Hendricks, and Annie Ross. Now, Dave Lambert and John Hendricks were pioneers in the scat singing style, scat vocal singing style. They were just amazing at it. When you include uh, Annie Ross to that mix, it made for a, a fabulous com uh, combination. What a great vocal group they they were. I believe this was their uh, debut album, Sing a Song of Basie. There's a CD of it. It was so good it was nominated into the Grammy Award Hall of Fame in 1998, I believe. And this is a reissue of that same album on MCA Impulse Records. The group was together between 1957 and 1964. Annie Ross left the group around 1962, and she was replaced by singer-actress uh, Yolande Bovan. And she, Yolande Bovan was with the group between 1962 and 64, and the group uh, split up and went their separate ways in 1964. Now, I'm going to get into some of the songs, that recommended songs on this uh, record. Then after that, I give my score and assessment of the record. But a song called Moanin', which features the vocals of uh, John Hendricks, is really good. And it features, sorry for looking down at my notes, John Hendricks to the left of the soundstage. And Dave Lambert, I believe, is to the right of the soundstage. But it really features the voice of uh, John Hendricks really well on the song Moanin'. Now, a song called Twisted, I believe the lyrics were written by um, Annie Ross. And their lyrics are fun, and their singing is a fun. It's a fun song, and it's a fabulous sounding song. And it's a great song by um, Annie Ross. I believe she's um, slightly to the right of the soundstage, I think, with Hendrix on the left and uh, Lambert on the right. Great song. Another song, Bijou, features the vocals of Dave Lambert. Now, during the song, he's not singing in the scat style, but it really displays his, uh, his uh, vocals and voice well in the song Bijou. Um, now, there's another song called Cloudburst, which features the vocals of uh, John Hendrix. And the pace, speed, and tempo which he sings is phenomenal. And it's amazing how he does it with such control. So you definitely want to check out Cloudburst, a song called Cloudburst. And I'll say their uh, version of Summertime is actually pretty good, too. Overall, I give this um, album, in terms of performance, I give it a 9 point, I, be, I say between an 8.5 and 9. Now, the sound is a different story. The sound I give it between a 7 and a 7.5. This is not an audiophile record in terms of depth dimension and sound stage and three dimensionality. It's not that type of record. You get this record for the performances. That's why I would recommend the CD. Although the LP sounds better, the CD's not bad. 
And if you get this real cheaply, this might be a good option if you just want to check out the group. And also a good benefit of this CD is it includes, includes three albums on one CD. It includes this album, Lambert Hedges Ross, the hottest new group in, in, in jazz. It also includes Lambert Hendrix Ross sing Ellington, High Flying with the Ike Isaacs Trio. Three albums and one CD. You might want to check that out. Like I said, overall, I give the album between an 8 and 9 in terms of performance, around a 7, 7.5 in terms of sound. Um, I'm going to recommend some uh, videos that are related to members of the group and actually pretty good. Um, around 1964, sorry I have to refer to my notes, when um, the group broke up, Dave Lambert formed another group and he surrounded himself by young singers. I think it was two female vo uh, vocalists, two young male vocalists and himself. And this documentary film by the great documentary, documentary filmmaker D.A. Pennybaker is called Audition at RCA. And it shows a group in the RCA studios putting together, I guess, a demo for the RCA Corporation. You definitely want to check out Audition at RCA. Like I said, I'm going to leave these in the descript these links in the description below. Also, a 9 2012 documentary on the BBC called No One But Me about Annie Ross is pretty good. You want to check that out as well. Another link to a video is... Uh, the singer Yolan Bovan in 1962 was on a show here in the United States called To Tell the Truth. Now, she was a panelist on the show or contestant, whatever you want to call it. And um, after her, the contestant part of the show, Lambert, Hendrix, and Bovan performed. So you definitely want to check out that video. And, but you want to skip forward to the point at 8 minutes and 15 seconds in a video to see her part. 8 minutes and 15 seconds in a, in a video. That's where you want to fast forward to. You definitely want to check that out. Also, I'm going to leave a link to an interview with uh, uh, Yolan Bovan in terms of her um, talking about how she joined Lambert, Hendri Lambert Hendricks and Bovan. I would definitely check those videos out. Like I, live, like I said, I'll leave the links in the description below. But overall, like I said, I give the album between 8.5 and 9. I mean, the performance, the sound, 7 to 7.5. It's a good album. I definitely check it out. Thank you very much for viewing my video as always. God bless. Love. Peace to all.